and welcome back to another Sims 3 speed build. Um, I apologize that I haven't been around for, you know, these past few weeks. Um, I have been very, very busy. Um, like I have mentioned in the uh, Let's Play that I had just posted earlier in the week, um, I've just been really busy and I have been asked to make a few blankets and I got some baby shower items and stuff that I need, you know, that I'm doing and creating and it's just been really, really busy. So, um, I will definitely post when I can, um, you know, the let's plays and stuff with them being so often, I can't quite guarantee that I'm going to get around to them. And then of course, you know, your speed builds for me, they take quite some time to create and I just don't always have that many hours you know to create you know a you know a speed build so I will get you know I'll try my best to get things posted as much as I can um I definitely enjoy doing this um so I haven't forgotten about yet so don't worry about that um but basically this house that we're doing uh, I had been looking you know I found a few things online just kind of looking around you know just kind of see different styles and things like that and there was a few styles um, that I'm using, well not really styles, but a few things that I had seen that I kind of merged into one house. So that's kind of what we're doing here. And this house is built for Aluna Island. Uh, so if you don't have Aluna Island, um, you might be able to get this to work on another lot, but you would have to do a lot of terrain editing. Uh, but I mean I'm sure I guess it is possible but I have tried that in the past before trying to put you know lots somewhere else and it's not always feasible and sometimes it's very difficult uh, so but this house like I said goes to Luna Island um, James from the Sim Supply created it uh, well anyway um, basically where this is located at there's a few more lots that are actually next to it and I plan on making kind of like a few more houses to kind of go together you know how like when you see some places um, the lots are kind of like the houses kind of seem to be built around the same time I don't know if I really want to go you know that exact because they tend to be very similar and almost look a lot alike but I want them to be kind of similar in this area, I guess you could say. So, and basically what I'm doing with this house is it has, you know, of course a basement. Um, which is, I think, going to be one of the things about the house is I'm going to carry through to the other ones. Is I'm going to keep the idea of a basement in them too. Um, and this one has a side door. So the Sims, um they may or may not exit out of it I have done side doors going you know in the basement area and other houses before and I have actually seen them using it you know autonomously or like if you tell them to go somewhere they'll go out the side door or a back door instead and so I'm not sure if they would do that in this house or not um, it's one of those things that you just won't really know until you actually um you know play with the house so <clears throat> um but this house has three bedrooms and I believe two bathrooms uh, so and it has a few store con items that are used it uses um, a couch rug clock and I think a plant I believe um, it actually just previously before this um, commentary I'd actually just recorded or at least I thought anyway that I had recorded an entire commentary for it already this is actually my second time <laughs> for this house um, for some reason the program I'm using keeps changing my audio device and this is the second time in a row it's done that so you would think I would remember to check it <laughs> but I didn't so this is my second time having to record for some reason it keeps changing it to inline device instead of microphone I have no idea why it keeps doing that but I was trying to put you know like a curved the octagon roof there and I wasn't really happy with the way it was looking as you can see so I decided to go with um, do like one of these balconies that aren't actually 
usable. You know, the Sims aren't going to go to it. There's no no door or anything like that that goes to it. So <clears throat> I'm just trying to you know, try to figure out the roof. You know, trying to get it to look right. Um, I think it ends up turning out okay in the end. Um, there's you know still a few things that I probably would have been more happy with if it wasn't there. But you know, this is a Sims. Not much you can do. So. <laughs> But the back, I think, turned out much nicer. This covered porch area in the back, I think, turned out really nice. So I like the way that turned out. Um, the yard is actually pretty decent sized. Um, it go, you know, you got your own private beach. So what you see isn't all of it. It seems like this lot is really long. So like they have a lot of beach and a lot of ocean you know for themselves so you know if you like you know the the ocean thing and I don't know if you can really what all they can do exactly but um, I don't normally do the snorkeling or uh, diving or anything like that um, I have experimented with that though because I was curious you know wondering what all what can you you know what is this diving so I have experimented with it um, I guess I was expecting I don't I don't know what I was expecting actually um you know when you see if, how some sims can die from like sharks or from this or that and you know you kinda try to make that happen well I I had my sim swimming with the sharks and that shark really could care less that my sim was there <laughs> So I, you know, I, I was a little, little disappointed, I guess. Um, you know, the shark could have been, you know, a little bit more aggressive, I guess. You know, my taste, it could have been a little bit more exciting. But I'm um, just trying to figure out windows. Windows are probably my hardest thing to come up with. Um, some people I have watched and they just throw in windows and they can be a variety of different windows and it'll look good and they don't spend hardly any time on them at all but me I feel like I spend a lot of time just picking out windows <laughs> I don't really know why um, but I, I guess I'm just really picky when it comes to that I don't know I am really picky on the way my builds look um, sometimes I am super happy with them and sometimes I just mess with them so much that I just eventually give up. <laughs> so um, I don't think anything in this house I really give up too much on. Um, for the most part the house ended up working pretty much the way I wanted it to. Uh, normally I don't build houses based on an interior idea but in this case I built it around the U-shaped staircase. Um, I have come to figure out that if you're going to do, you know, a U-shaped staircase or an L-shape or any of those that require constrained floor elevation sheets to create, I have just found that it's much easier to do before you've really built much of the house. Um, it just seems to be much easier, I think, anyway. So. I have tried putting them in later after you know a lot of the house had been constructed and they just seem to be a lot more difficult they're more moody I guess you could say and it just so you know when I if I'm gonna do it I normally already have it planned because it's just so much easier so at least I think so anyway um, just you know getting a door for the back deck here. Uh, not a whole lot goes on. Um, I really don't decorate much when it comes to decorating porches and exterior living spaces. Uh, that just I just don't. I don't really know what to do with them. It's not really my best area. I'm more of an interior decorator. Um, I guess you could say that I prefer to decorate more the interior than I do with anything else so <clears throat> um, but anyway just going through blacking out some of the areas that your sins can't go I do I like doing that so 
um, just raising some of the land. Uh, you know, most of the time the ground is higher anyway around the house to drain water. So, um, and I decided with this being a beach area, and I think all of these lots, except for the corner one anyway, all have their own beach, their own beach and water. So I had decided that I would, I personally would prefer it to be more private, I guess you could say more of a private um, lot so uh, that way when your sim was out swimming and playing in the sand and doing whatever it is they're doing you know they can have a little bit of privacy so and then the front of course you know not quite as much but it still has you know your fence and everything to separate so um, all the lots that I plan on doing in this area will also have the same fence. They will also have their privacy fences. Um, like I said, they're going to have a lot of things that are going to be similar, but at the same time, they're going to be, I'm hoping anyway, to be quite different. I don't want them to be exactly the same, but I would like them to be, yeah, have a lot of similarities. Like they're all probably going to have basements. Um, I don't know if they'll all have the U-shaped staircase or not. Um, or not, but they're going to have the same fencing and stuff like that. So um, that's kind of my plan anyway. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I kind of have a little bit of an idea um, on a house, kind of a Cape Cod style is kind of the next um, house that I am thinking about doing. I don't do Cape Cod very often because that's really not my favorite design. Um, and when I do do a Cape Cod, I do tend to make it very different or unique. The last one I had done was my beach bungalow, and that lot was put on a diagonal. So that's what gave it its, un you know, being unique was being on a diagonal. So that kind of gave it more character and things like that. Because they're really not my favorite style of house. Um, so, but anyway... Um, the landscaping in the front is a little bit more um, like a pattern, I guess you could say. I don't really know what you would call it. But in the back, they're kind of more messy, more kind of just thrown around and not make much sense. Um, but I do think even the front landscaping turns out very nicely. I'd put in those one flowers that kind of uh, hang over. I, think I don't think it was the heather. I guess it could be. I guess that could be what I used. I'm not sure what I used exactly. But in the back they're just kind of more messy. And that's kind of the look I was looking for was just kind of more of a, a messy style for the backyard. So I'm um, just kind of throwing some plants here and there around and just trying to see what looks nice. Um, I like it when some when some of the builders, you know, they throw the plants around and everything and they're the ones that don't have the flowers, but I haven't been able to get that to look right yet. <laughs> I'm st I'm still working on landscaping. Landscaping is not my my area, but I'm st I'm still practicing. I'm still trying. So, um I think the landscaping in this house turned out I think pretty well. Um you know, but I haven't gotten gotten it figured out yet with doing plants that don't have flowers. Um, I don't know. I guess I just find that those huckleberries or whatever they are, um, and some of them other plants without flowers, look more like trashy. Not really, not trashy. I don't want to say that. Um, messy, I guess. Unkept, maybe? Um, I don't know. They just don't seem as pleasant. They seem more like they need a really good trim or something. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I was trying to put like a little bit of a fire pit here. But with these fire pits, if the ground isn't perfectly flat, and it's a good amount of ground that's flat, then the chairs won't show up. Um, so I decided since the ground and everything in this area pretty much slopes to the ocean and keeps sloping that I was just going to go ahead and take it out. So I'm um, just going through and adding a few more windows that, you know, I apparently didn't put any on that side. So 
Um, and I figured, why not a slide? Because there is, you know, a kid's bedroom. So I imagine this house would hold a family with at least some kids. So, um, but the landscaping for the most part is just about done. I do end up putting a few hanging plants here on the porch. Um, and that's really about it. I actually take two hanging plants and I merge them together. Um, I just felt that kind of gave it a nicer look. Um, I, I don't really know what the plants are exactly. One, one of them is like, I think like a spider type of plant. At least that's what it looks like. It hangs really low. And then the other one is just some kind of plant. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But um, this little area is the kitchen. It's not very big. Um, I mean, it's a good size. But it's not really big enough to put like an Eden table. So... I kind of ran into that problem. I was designing this house and I was creating it and then when I started decorating it I realized there's really nowhere to put a table. <laughs> you know, I just, I after I got doors and stuff in and everything else, it just, a table just wasn't going to work for this kitchen. So, um, I actually have a um the table and chairs are like in front of the the staircase there so they're kind of they're kind of in between the kitchen but yet in the living room I don't know it's they're not really the most ideal place I guess you could say um but just one of those things that kind of happened after I'd already designed the house and and then didn't realize until later I didn't actually have the place for it. Here's kind of when I just realized I didn't was when I was trying to put that bar in. I was like well that's not gonna work because a lot of times you can put a bar in and that'll take care of the fact that you don't have a table but that wasn't gonna work either. <laughs> so yeah they're kind of put in a kind of an odd odd place I guess you could say. Um, but just trying to figure out the patterns that I want to use for the house and which is usually when I decide what color wood and things that I'm going to be using. Um, I do use a lot of wood patterns in my houses. I like the warm colors, the earthy color of the wood and how w nice and warm it makes everything feel. So that's that's basically why I use you know your a lot of wood um, in my builds. Um, I have a really hard time not using paneling or wood trims, you know, baseboards or something um, in the houses. Uh, I just, that's just not me. So um, I apologize if you're more of a modern style and, you know, that's not really your kind of style. But I'm just not, I'm not very good with modern. <laughs> I have tried it. Um, and uh, I think it did turn out pretty good. I had created like a modern style houseboat one time and that turned out pretty, I, I think that turned out pretty nice. Um, I personally probably won't ever use that lot just because I'm not really a houseboat fan for the game. Um, you know if you're in a uh, lot or a world that doesn't have any uh, ports and you got to put your own in that can kind of suck actually um, I had to look it up uh, I actually had created that lot in I think Island Paradise so I didn't have to deal with it but one time I did try putting them in this world here Aluna Island and it was just a pain I really <laughs> I didn't like doing it so it's not really those types aren't really the kind of lots that I'm probably going to use much of if at all so but these are the chairs or the couches and then that rug is also store content um, I'm really bad with knowing where things came from I think the couches I think just came from a basic like a living room set or something that I happened to see that I liked and that rug I believe comes from grandpa's grove or something I think it's the one that has the tractor I'm not really too sure 
um, I mostly had gotten the uh, the tractor or whatever store content thing because I was creating a farm a long time ago and I wanted a tractor <laughs> so um, that's kind of why I got it I don't really know what all came with it I haven't even looked at the comes with a lot I think a lot and I've never even placed a lot to look at it so I really don't know what it comes with exactly so but I think that rug and then there's a clock I use in the laundry room that I think also comes in that content as well in that uh, store thing so um, now but the plants um, I got from from the store are also free um, I, you know, actually just recently got those not too long ago because I was, I couldn't figure out where in the world the darn Christmas tree was at. <laughs> and somebody, you know, informed me on the fact that your Christmas tree is actually in the store and you have to download it and it's free. Um, so when I looked it up, I found a whole bunch of plants that were free. And I was like, yes, because I love plants. So... Um, I have been using those plants like crazy here lately because they are new and I know they're free and um, you know in my opinion if you know you don't really have the item but you know it's free then you're probably more than like more likely to get it than an item that you have to pay for so I have no problem using as many free items as possible so um, here's the laundry room just you know trying to get it decorated and everything and try and decide what kind of colors and patterns and things like that that I want to use. Um, sometimes I have absolutely no idea what I want to do. <laughs> Nothing whatsoever. Um, but in this case I decided to kind of go with, because I decided to use the blue washer and dryer on um, that set I believe comes when you click on it I think automatically is a dark red and I had chose this time that we we're gonna go ahead and go with the blue so blue is kind of the color we end up going with for everything else so that's just kind of what I end up doing so and then of course you know gotta clutter everything up everything up so make it look nice and lived in you know a laundry room just seems like the place where you would have extra towels and tools and things like that so that's usually why I stick those particular items on the shelf in here because that just seems like the place for them so um, not much with the laundry room there's that clock I was telling you about um, and then of course some hidden laundry hampers you may not see me putting them in if you don't know exactly when I'm doing it um, but the hidden hampers would be like in the laundry room for instance would be inside the washer that's one of the good places to put it and then like in the kitchen we'll cover the living room and the kitchen together since they are not separate rooms and a good place to put that would be inside of a counter um, they can't you know you can't see it and the, they are accessible in those areas so um, just going through and trying to get the coloring and everything that I want because this wall here goes through and into you know it's also the wall underneath the stairs so um I you know wanted them to look you know look look good so and then for some reason you know great old Sims 3 lighting as you can see um in this stairwell area the I don't know what was causing it there was a shadow um sometimes I know exactly where these shadows are being casted from and sometimes I absolutely have no clue and in this case this the shadow in that stairwell I had no idea where it was coming from no matter how many lights I put in I just could not get it to to go away no matter what I did so um, unfortunately I could not get rid of it um, I, I really couldn't tell you why it was there I have no idea so but anyway um, up to the I eventually that's one of the things I ended up just giving up on um, you know pretty much everybody who plays in The Sims 3 knows that it has really bad lighting so I mean 
I really I really hate it sometimes but I I can ignore it so just figured I would just forget about it and move on so just doing like the, the upstairs landing this is gonna be where the computer and some bookshelves and things are and what I'm doing here is just adding extra clutter by using a book uh, a shelf so stacking stuff on there and then merging it in creates a whole lot more clutter on side of you know in one of your objects you know a desk or something that you're trying to do so or merging multiple shelves together will create more you know you can add a whole lot more stuff there and all kinds of stuff so um, I, I use shelves quite often just so I can make the house more messy I guess you could say so, um, but just kind of, you know, trying to add a few things. You know, I like, I like putting like a picture and lights and stuff over their stairs. Um, just, I don't know. I think it looks nice. So, I do tend to put a table next to the stairs. I know in real life that'd probably be really stupid. <laughs> you know, my luck, a cat would jump up there and knock that potted plant over and get dirt all over the staircase and living room down below. But... <laughs> And Sims, that doesn't happen, so you don't have to worry about it. You can put whatever you want on anything you want and not have to worry about a mess. So um, now we're just going to go ahead and work in one of the bathrooms. Um, the master bedroom does not have an ensuite this time. Um, sometimes my uh, houses do have that, and sometimes they don't. It just all depends on you know what. You know what the house ends up being so in this case um there's no ensuite so it's a pretty good sized bedroom though it's definitely got a lot of room a lot of room so if you want to add you know like a crib or something in there for when they have a baby there's plenty of room to add um uh any you know the cribs and stuff like that if necessary so uh so just going through, um, I decided this time to kind of go off of the shower tub combo um, theme color. So we have another, this one's going to be kind of green. Um, my bathrooms tend to be, color wise they do tend to be about the same depending on what they are. I do try to decorate them differently that way not every house is the same and not every house has the exact same interior. I do like them to be different as much as I can. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I try merging different pieces of furniture together just to kind of give us a different look instead of always having the same same furniture in every single house. So that gets in my opinion that's just a little dull, a little boring. So um, the bathroom up here doesn't really have anything um, anything different or special I mean there is only so much that you can do in a bathroom really so uh, that room is pretty much done and now we're working on the master bedroom like I said it is really actually quite big <laughs> I guess you could probably section it off a little bit like where that um, bed is and give it its own master suite you know its own master bathroom it's probably big enough to do that so I guess if you really really need to have one um, I think you could probably find a place for it in the bedroom so I decided I wanted to do a vanity again in this bedroom because like I said it's quite large so a lot of room that needed to be filled up a lot of wall space and I had decided I didn't want to do the normal vanity that I am always doing um, I do tend to do the same one over and over and this time I decided why not try something a little bit different so this time we created a smaller vanity but with a bookshelf so um, I thought I thought it looked nice I, I kind of liked it I might use that st that one again in another build somewhere so um, this I think is the first house I've used that style of vanity so I'm bound to use it again um, and then of course with these curtains from Island Paradise they're not really my favorite but occasionally I will use them and then when you can merge those large ones side by side like that um, they kind of create a different look and I don't mind that look 
so they're not my favorite curtains but every now and then I do think they look nice and they go well with the house sometimes so just going through and doing a little bit of re recoloring of things um, <coughs> I know some people try not to go into the creative style too often because of lag um, but really my computer once the um, patterns and stuff load up it really isn't too bad I can usually go in and out in and out pretty quickly and pretty smoothly the only problems I have is you know how occasionally your um, build mode or buy mode will be laggy and you have to get out of that and go back in that's usually where I get the problem. Um, otherwise, other than that, I don't normally have too much issue. And it also depends, I have noticed, on where my location that I'm building is at. Like, I don't think this lot caused too many problems. I think it pretty much ran pretty smoothly and wasn't really lagging up or anything like that. I don't think hardly at all, to be honest. Um, but I have found, I think, a couple of lots in the world that really m apparently just don't like my computer. So <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'm going to no longer try building on those particular lots <laughs> because I'm just tired of messing with it. So um, this down here in the basement is going to be kind of like a sitting area or maybe, I don't know, like a library or something. Um, I call it a library because there's nothing really in it except for bookshelves and chairs. So that kind of looks, you know, I kind of think of it more of a library area than anything else. So, because there's nothing really else in there. So, um, and then this is going to be also the other bed, our other bathroom. Um, like I said, there's two bathrooms. Two bathrooms and three bedrooms in this house. So um, it's definitely a little bit larger than what it looks from the outside and I like houses that do that, that look small but are actually quite large. Um, I don't know, I, do, I just like the illusion of it, I guess, um, that kind. So I have created a few houses in the past that do create that type of illusion and they are fun to build. So, um, but anyway. Uh, this house, um, like I said, is quite large. It does have like a kid's bedroom with, I think I put toys and stuff in it, and then another bedroom that could be either, I don't know if I would really call it a teen's room. I think I would probably call it more of a guest bedroom, I guess. I didn't really decorate it really for a teen. Um, teen decorating isn't really... I'm not very good at it. <laughs> it's not really my style. So, like right here's the bedroom. The larger one is the one I would say would be more for a teen or a guest. Um, it's not really for a boy or a girl. Um, I just kind of picked a pattern that I liked and put it on the wall and then based the colors off of that. That usually tends to be what I end up doing. Um, this room has like a border on it and it's the border that has like branches and blue flowers so I kind of base the coloring off of the um, blue flowers mostly of course the the wall I always like to decorate them um, when I do those walls I with like the border I like to put like match the wall itself to the border I just, I just think that gives it a much cleaner, nicer look. And then of course, you know, your accent colors and stuff kind of come from the blue from that, that border. So that's kind of where I came up with the colors and stuff for this room. It wasn't really designed for one or the other. Um, it could be a teen, it could be a guest, it really could be for whatever you want. Um, you could even make it your butler's quarters if you think you need a butler. <laughs> I mean it really could be whatever it is you decide you want so um, but like I said it's not really designed specifically for certain certain sims so usually I don't really have anything in mind I just kind of decorate and whatever it is is whatever it is so um, just kind of cluttering it up a little bit like I said you know there's a few books on the floor that kind of look like school books 
Uh, so like I said, it could be kind of, I guess, a teen's room. So, And then that lamp right there is um, free from the store. I think it is one of the New Year's things or something. <laughs> I don't I don't know I can't remember exactly where it came from I just I happened to see this pack and it said free and I clicked on it I really didn't care what it was and I downloaded it and that lamp happened to be one of it there's actually quite a things in the store that are free I was actually surprised of how many objects I've actually accumulated <laughs> so um, and I have actually found myself using them more and more more you know sometimes I forget I have them and end up using them so now this room I tried to design it again it's kind of based off the wallpaper but I tried to choose a wallpaper that could maybe have a mixture of colors for boy or girl so we kind of have like the blues but we also had the oranges um I can't remember like I can't even tell by looking at it because I'm looking at a really small screen when I do the commentary I can't make it any bigger in this program and I have no idea what that wallpaper is <laughs> so um, I think the dollhouse is usable I think anyway I was trying to create I don't know exactly what I was trying to create here but just like a bookshelf and toy I don't know <laughs> so basically um just trying to clutter it all up it and you know just with as many things as I possibly could you know this is a kids room they need lots of toys so I think the Dow house is playable I'm pretty sure the oven is going to be usable um, I don't test everything in my houses because I've played this game myself for quite some time and I'm pretty 100% certain on just about how everything works so you should be fine um, of course this room that uh, spare bedroom does not have a hidden laundry hamper and neither does the master bedroom because they didn't really have anything and now that I think about it I don't think I put a dresser in any of the bedrooms <laughs> I just realized that so I apologize if there's no dresser in any of the bedrooms <laughs> but here we're just going into the screenshots now so um, I hope you enjoyed this speed build uh, if you do have any requests or maybe a certain type of house you would like to see um, you know like me to build or something like that go right ahead and you know drop it in the comments or something below that I'll that I enjoyed get in requests. I've had a few of them and I like doing them because they give me something like an idea of something to build. Sometimes I just can't come up with an idea or have an idea of what I want to do so um, <clears throat> anyway uh, if you would like to see more builds from me uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button below and that way you will be able to see any of them that I post and don't forget to like let me know how I'm doing and I will see you next time and have a wonderful day bye